five science explorers. How's your study? Have you learned a lot already? Come on, let's learn and discover more about science. Great day! <laughs> Great day, Grade 5 Science Explorers! Here is our objective for today. Obviously, all of us wants to live in a clean environment. This is because clean environment is important in order for us to be healthy. No one wants to live in a polluted area like this. Where many disease causing germs exist. So it is important that we manage our waste properly. Let us unscramble the letters to find out the 5 R's of waste management. Management are reduce, reuse, recycle, recover, and repair. these materials. Old toys, plastic bottles, peeling of vegetables, broken chair, shampoo in sachet. All of these are considered waste at home. How can this waste be managed so that they will not pollute our environment? Let us start with the old toys. Old toys. Your old toy and unwanted toys can be reused. You can donate them to younger children so that they can play with it. That way, it won't go in the rubbish or end up in the landfill. Reuse means 
taking old items that you might consider throwing away and finding a new use for them. Sometimes, materials can be reused by other people. Plastic bottles. Used plastic bottles can be recycled. You can turn plastic bottles into a flower base or pencil holder. Now in our community, we are asked to separate recyclable materials like plastic bottles. Assigned barangay tanod collect and process these materials and later turn into eco bricks. Recycle means to convert waste materials into new materials and objects. This can prevent the waste of potentially useful materials and reduce the consumption of fresh raw materials. Peeling of vegetables Vegetable and fruit peelings can be recovered. By making a compost pit, this waste can turn into a plant fertilizers. Recover means using waste as an input material to create valuable products as new outputs. Broken chair. This broken chair can be repaired. Repairing broken or damaged materials can reduce the consumption of our natural resources. Repair means to fix or mend broken and damaged materials so it can be used again. Fixing is making sure that we do not fall into the trap of disposing of something that is broken when it can still be mended. Shampoo in sachet When we use one sachet of shampoo a day, it means we consume 365 sachet in a year. That's too much of trash. We can reduce trash by buying shampoo in a bottle. Reduce means to lessen the amount of trash that will add to the environment. Reducing your consumption and buying in bigger and reusable containers can help reduce the quantity of trash we put in the environment. Let us see if you can identify which of the five R's is being described of the following sentence. 1. Sewing your favorite dress. 2. Waste oil burnt for energy recovery. 3. Buying rechargeable batteries instead of disposable batteries. 4. Sandwich spread jars cleaned and used as a candy containers. 5. Plastic water container turned into a flower pot. That's wonderful, children! Now, choose which waste management technique is used in the following situation. 1. Anna lessened her groceries and buy only things that she needed. 2. Bing 
use old tires as spots for her vegetable garden. 3. Jackie had her electric fan fixed by the electrician in the neighborhood. 4. Angel brings her durable native bag whenever she goes to the grocery. 5. Julian makes his own compost pit using vegetable and fruit peelings. 6. Jacob used the backside of his old research notes as a scratch paper. 7. Julius fixed the broken pedal of his daughter's bicycle. 8. Blessy made a colorful lantern out of junk food's plastic wrapper. 9. Ron gathered carabao manure and used them as fertilizer to his garden. 10. Riot avoids using single disposable razor and batteries. Amazing! You nailed it! Now, you already know the 5 R's of waste management technique. Now, let me see if you can supply the missing words of this paragraph. Use the 5 R's of Waste Management. See? Learning can be fun and easy. So stick with us and continue watching our next videos. Enjoy learning! Bye!